Remember 1993. This is Ewood Park, in the Premiership but pre-rebuild. Nuttall Street still had its old stand and a rather small cabin doubled as the very popular Rover store. But there was a great atmosphere on the street in the build-up to the game. And that October, the preparations for the launch of the UK's first football club radio station. The old wooden stand played host to what had been the PA box, and October the 30th would house... And this is Radio Rovers. Radio Rovers. Yes, that's me. More hair, less body mass. We rehearsed for the TV cameras as the builders worked hard to complete the construction of a brand new Blackburn and Darwin end of the ground. Then Nuttall Street would come down and, well, the rest is history. Despite the fact the old main stand was still fully functioning, the Blackburn end was already well under construction. And the brand new Darwin end would also house a custom-built studio for Radio Rovers. Alan Yardley showed me around. It's a long way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. When that stand closes at Christmas, still they go. It all seems to be coming right now. New stadium, team near the top, first radio station in the country. What, what, what's the buzz like at the club at the moment? Well, it's a terrific atmosphere. I mean, we've had some seasons when it, things haven't gone right, when we've been almost there uh, and almost promoted to, to football's Premier League. And I think with Jack Walker coming in and putting his support behind the club, the feeling then was the time was right to make an assault on the Premier League. It happened in that season, Kenny Dalgleish coming along with the rest of the team have just turned this club around and now it's amazing to see support, the likes of which I've not seen in Blackburn for the past 30, 30 40 years. I think it's amazing. I've been here for a year now uh, doing the PA radio programme, which is just like a radio programme but just on the loudspeakers. Uh, and I've seen this atmosphere build up over the year, coming into the new season, seeing the building work here. And the thousands of people who just come down here to watch the building development work, it, it really is magic. There's an incredible buzz. When we approached, uh, first of all, the club and the safety officer and the police and then the radio authority to ask if it was possible that we could have a license, they said, well, nobody's ever done it before. Um, and they were right behind it from the start because, after all, radio is a, a 1990s way of communication. And I think what will happen here at Ewood Park over the next six months will spur on every football club in the country to say, we want one of those, we'll have one. Well, they'll all come here to see how we do it, won't they? And they'll all be listening to Radio Rovers on 1430, and they'll say, that's a heck of a good idea, we want to do the same. But we'll say we had it first in Blackburn. The Rovers line up like this. One, Meanwhile, the wood hut on Nuttall Street would have to do for now. Nine is Alan Shearer. Ten is Mike Ewell. Twelve, Nicky Marker. And a big Ewood welcome for 18, Ian Pearce. And remember, we're going to be here with Radio Rovers on 1413, starting on October the 30th.